Today, I'm going to share to you with a topic, the blessings of obedience. Nag-connect ni Rina sa mag-ipagsulti ni Lisa. There might be some problems along the way, but we believe what God has promised will be fulfilled. The only thing that God cannot do is to lie in His promises. Are you there? Are you listening? So, tanan mahimo ni Lord, tanan makaya niya, and there is no there is no possible things for God. I mean, impossible things for God. Everything is possible. But there's only one thing that God cannot do is to lie on His Word. So when God said it, He's going to do it. He has established it in His Word. And so this morning, the topic I'm going to share to you is the blessings of obedience or the power of obeying the Word of God. Now, along these topics, you are going to hear the six good results of obedience to God. Meron pong anim na magandang resulta when we obey the Word of God. Of course, there's a lot of promises, there's a lot of blessings stored for every one of us. But this very morning, I am citing six major good things that will happen in the life of a believer when he begins to obey God's word. Sabi ko kanina, there are so many good results of obedience. Uh, I can rumble on and on about sa mga tanang butang nga gihatag ni Lord sa tuwang kinabuhi kung kita musulod niya na kaniyam. And generally speaking, no, obedience to God gives us entry. Again, obedience to God gives us entry into all that He has for Kung baga pa, ang atong pagsunod sa ginoo, ang atong pag-obey siya ang pulong, maoy naghahatod ka na to, o naghahatag ka ng opportunity nga musulod kita sa pultahan o ato makita o padawat kung unsa ang iyahang giandam nga rin ka na to. Do you believe that? When you agree with me, you shout Amen. Okay? Now, obedience will open the door of His blessings para na itong tanan and will also keep us up in the will of God. Assign niya, ma- ma- makuha na ito ang mga panalangin sa ginoo pero ibutang pag ito sa ginoo, we will stay in His will. Lama ko yung mga tao, when they receive God's blessings, they rejoice, they were so happy, but later on, dili sila maka, makapadayon tungod kay they were blown away with the blessings. Now, obedience to God's word is different. When you obey the word of God, the Lord will open the door for you, the opportunity to receive those blessings. But, hindi po tayo hanggang doon lang. The Lord will keep us up in accordance to His will. Ang kabutong sa ginoong mao kayo yung makapapilin ka Magiging stable kasi ang pagtuwa na kaniya kung dili ka madalas sa managang manalangin. People who always seek the blessings of God and not the owner of the blessings, mao niya ang mga tao niya madalas sila sa bagyo o sa baha sa panalangin. We, we, we've been praying, Lord, pour out your blessings upon me. You know, when you pray that kind of prayer, di na basta-basta na. Madya mo pour out? Yabuan ka dagang panalangin? Karo dilin mo makaya na siya? Lagpot ka. Pero ang obedience to the Word of God will not just give you blessings, but it will keep you in the hands of God. Are you there? Ato palapakan ng ginoo, if you understand. Now, by obedience to God's Word, we will stay in tune with God. Dili kaya bag, kung dili in tune with God ka, and are given all the power of God nga iyahang gusto ihatag sa ito ang kinabuhin. Now, we will not just have, again, the blessings, the material ones, or anything nga itong ginisahin. Dila matamaan ko na siya, pero ang importante nga ang ginoong muhatag ka ni Mugahong nga mamahibok kang ligon. Okay? Now, by obedience, we also put ourselves in the middle of His love and there we see the glory of God. 
in John chapter 41, uh, John chapter 14 verse 21, dal unde ay ta sa pinakatungatunga sa kasingkasing sa ginoo siyang gugma, unya ato masinati ang himaya sa Dios. Mo na ilya, do not just seek the blessing, but chase the author of the bless- blessing. Ang tag-iya sa blessing, ah, ito siguro on, ang source, dili lang tayo ang blessing. So, ang kanang panalangin lang yung mong ginalantaw, dili ang tag-iya, it will run out. Mawala ang ragyabo na sa inyo. Pero kung dito ka sa source, dito ka magpa, magpalakas kay Lord, dito ka mapasuod niya na kaniya, walay undang niya blessing niya ihatag ni Lord sa inyo ang kinabuhi. Ang gusto ka dawat niya na will say Amen. Now, we will now go on to the six specific results of obedience. I want everybody to say it with me, the word obedience. Ready? Go. Okay, obedience. Ang pagsunod sa pulong sa ginoon. The number one result, ito po. Listen carefully. You can read there. Number one is, by obedience, we become God's friend. There is something with the word being a friend. In John chapter 14 verse 21, it says here, He who has my commandments and then keep them, it is he who loves me. Now, your love to God will be tested by keeping up his commands. When you say, I love you, Lord, dapat makita sa imong kasing-kasing nga imuhang kitipigan ang iyang pulong. When you say, I love you, Lord, dapat mo-obey ka sa pulong sa ginoo. There's a lot of professing believers that they said in their mouth, they profess it, yun sila nga, I love you, Lord, pero ang ilang kinabuhi, wala na gugma sa ginoo. And that's the reason one day, ningun yung ginoo, Many of you who calls Lord, 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 but sad to say, they cannot enter the kingdom of God. Even preachers, even song leaders, even dancers, players, they keep on saying, I love you, Lord, but in their secret heart, in their secret life, wala sila nagtuman sa pulong sa ino. And that is why Jesus said, He who has my commandments and keep them, it is He who loves me. Alright? It is not enough to say, I love you, Lord. It is not enough to say, I will serve you, Lord. Dapat makita siya sa ato ang binungatan. Dapat makita siya na kita misunod sa pulong sa gino. And the good thing here, I'm going to continue reading this verse. John 14, verse 21, it says here, And He who loves me, will be loved by my Father. It is promise of God. Siya daw na igugma kay Ginong Yesus, igugma ulpun siya sa Diyos Amahan. And Jesus continued it. He said, And I will love Him and manifest myself to Him. It's the promise of Jesus that when we love Him, when we love God the Father, when we obey His word, sabi ni Lord, I will also love Him and I will manifest myself in Him. Take note the word manifest. The word manifest in this verse means to disclose or to show oneself. Are you listening? You got me? Ang pulong na manifest is to disclose. The word disclose, kung baga pa, ablihan. Sekarang magulang ko makuha ni mga term na disclose ng mga term sa abogado. Term sa mga lawyer. Disclose. Now, he disclosed. Mean to say, walay sikrito. Jesus said, I will manifest myself to him. It only means that Jesus is a friend to us. When you disclose yourself to a certain person, ibig sabihin, you trust him, you trust her, because he is your close friend. It is not just a friend, but a close friend. Therefore, as we see here, obedience to God brings us to the friendship of the Father and the Son. 
ibang bagay po yung tinatawag mo na nagiging friend mo siya. You can be a husband or you can be a wife but never a friend. There is something when you and your wife, husband or wife, hindi lang mag-asawa mo but still you're also a friend in which you can open yourself to him or her walang hiyaan, nakikita mo lahat talaga sa kanya because you are a friend to each other. Dili ka maulaw, dili ka masunod sa problema because you are a friend. Same also sa itong pangalagod sa gino, when we begin to obey the word of God and when we follow it, sabi po ni Lord, if you have my commandments and keep them, you are my close friend. Kinsa sa inyong gusto at tawagod niya, amigo sa gino, sa inyo. Hambong kayo na, kumingon na close, biya mo ni Manny Pacquiao. event sa naman magsaysay. I was still connected in that university. Sa college magsaysay sa una. O niya, nami mga program. Nakita na mo si Nipakyaw sa'yo kayo na nagsikin jogging. Iingon ko mga kabayang. Bro, mani Pakyaw, pa-picture ta. May feeling close kayo. Selfie, selfie. Humble kayo ta. We're even humble. Kami ko ta na, ah, amigo kayo na sa Duterte na ko. Ako ang barkada sa Duterte sa una. There's something when we speak the word friends. Humble kayo ta. How much more sa atong ginoo? Kung kita mo obey sa word of God, kung kita mo sunod sa ginoo, muingon ang ginoo siya mismo muingon, amigo na ko na siya. Something closeness, ano ito po? Something, kung sa kabutang, walay babag because you are a friend to God. In John chapter 15 verse 14, Jesus plainly says, sabi niya, you are my friends if you do whatever I command you. Hallelujah. Kung kita daw musunod sa giingon, sa ginoo, whatever, the word whatever, lahat-lahat, dili lang piliun ni mo. Ang kasigaran maling din eh, kay ilahan lang piliun ang mga pulong sa ginoo, mapabor sa tua. Pag dili ka ni pabor, mura ka dili ni mayo, dili sa kawani, dili ka spikas. Dili mayo. Pero yung sige ng Yesus, if you do whatever I command you, you are counted as my friends. That, that thought, yung sinasabi na, to be a friend of God, para sa Lord, it's just an overwhelming to me. Hindi ko na basta basta ka na. Nindot o lipay ka ayaw ka, itawagod ka o amigo sa ginoo. It is hard to comprehend and describe it. Wonderful, a hard, hard warning. Kung imulan na mo na ang pagkayo, and I know, according to the word of God, that God is willing. He is more than willing to be a friend to anyone who will come to Him and obey Him. If you want to be a friend of God, would you please clap your hands for the Lord? Hallelujah. Lord, hambog kayo may ginoong at tawagod mo ni mo kamigo. By obedience, number two, results of obeying God's word. Ito po. By obedience, we get to know God's will. Again? By obedience to the word of God, we begin to know God's will. Kamabot on sa ginoong. Daghan ang mga Kristuhanon, nisugod niya mo Kristuhanon sila, hangtod ka rin, niguwang na lang ang ilang pagkampo. Lord, tuloy ko sa iyong kaubuton. Lord, kung sa iyong kaubuton, they don't know the will of God. You know what's the reason? Tungod kay dili man nagsunod sa pulong sa ginoong. But when we obey God's word, when we follow the word of God, sabi po dito, we will begin to know the will of God sa ato ang kinabuhi. It's really quiet, simple, quite simple. Ito lo, the more we do what God tells us to do, the more also we get to know Him. Kung musunod lamang ta sa pulong sa... I am lost now, okay. Now, mas the more na ito, masabta ng iyang kabubot mo. Muhulo na yung prayer, 
Lord kung saan ibubuto ni mo sa kong kinapuni. The Lord keeps us telling His will to us. Pero di rin ako madungo kung okay, wala ka mo sunod sa iyo. Do you want to know what will happen to you in the future? Do you want to know what will happen to you today and tomorrow and to the incoming month and, then, and the year to come? Simply, obey His will. friends of God, the more He reveals Himself and His will to us. You have a lot of friends. Sa ang kinabuhi, we have a circle of friends. But there is something when you say, that person is very close to me. O katong close pag yun sa imuha, you will know him or her. Because walay kanang tanan imong gisulti ka, amigo kayo mo. Amiga kayo mo siya. And then, the more you get closer and closer, yan sa ginoo, masabtan nato kung unsa yun ang gusto ni Lord sa imuhan kinabuhi. Psalm says, the Lord knows your heart. And when He finds favor to you, sabi po ng Bible, when God is delighted sa imuhan kinabuhi, then He will grant the suspect. He will grant the desires of your heart. Now, sabi ko kanina, the more we grow as His friends, the more the Lord will reveal Himself and His will to all of us. Hence, we will find that His will is good. Ang kabuton sa ginoo, maayo. Dili ang ginoo, nag-andam o kadautan sa tua. The Bible says, sabi ni Lord, For I know the plan I have for you. I know the plan I have for you. Kabalo si Lord, kung unsa iyang plano sa imuhang kinabuhi. And the plan of God is not to destroy us. The plan of God is not to give us a miserable life. Hindi po will ni Lord na magkamang kamang kaskalison. Dili po will ni Lord na mag-anto sa sabalatian. Although there might sometimes that we will suffer, but hindi po yan forever. Na yung mga panahon niya magsakit ta, pero dili na siya mulungtad. The Lord will help us up to endure those suffering and He will lift us up once again and we will experience the glory of God. I am always reminded of what has happened to me for the previous months. Na also ang sakit na na COVID. And I think I had experienced it also in my life. Although I did not confess it was COVID, but if if I were confined in the hospital, sigurado ko 100% COVID yung situation ko. Just imagine mo, kahit lang ka nag-ubo, kahit lang ka nagsakit, di nakakaginawa, murag, pila lang ka, pila lang ka uras, pila ka minuto, di nakakaginawa. Pwede pa ni mong kataw, kataw, pwede pa ni Pilipay, yun yung gabi una, I can remember, I was there in your house, anak no, sa Karyas, uh, ang hawa pa minit ko, katbang pa na ako si, si Kapitan um, Dupalco, isa story pa mi, Pilipay pa kayo mi, pagkaugma, di na ako katulog, pagkabi, di na ako katulog, bunya, pagkaugma, di na ako may mutang, bunya, di na ako ginawa. Babe, uh, please provide oxygen para sa huwa naman, di ko ginawa, di ko katulog. Hangtod niya, iabot ang panahon, pinakaadlaw, nakahurot ko, hindi ko oksigen, 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 and I said to myself, I think this is going to be it. <laughs> Pero, si Lord, dili mo togot, hindi mamatay ita, tungkol kayo na, may plano si Lord. We are a friend of God, and the will of God for you is to give you a bright future. Pansamantala lang ang kalisod, mga anak. Pansamantala lang ang problema. Pansamantala lang ang kalistanan sa kinabuhi. Pero ang plano ni Lord, sure po. Ang plano ni Lord, sigurado. When we obey His will, when we obey His word, kabaloko kitang tanan na ay maayong kaugmaon sa ginoo. Inay mo katapit maghambok, maayong kaugmaon para sa buhay na siya. The will of God is perfect. The will of God is acceptable.
Bible, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. If you offer your body as a living sacrifice, it means when you obey the word of God, the Bible says, you will know the will of God. And that will is really perfect. That will is profitable. God's will is to give you a bright future. That is, that's why David said in Psalms 24, verse 4, David said, Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. Nakangano nag-ampo man si David niya na? Ano kayo naman siya? Lord, show me your way and teach me your path. Because to David, life without God is meaningless. David was considered as the greatest king of Israel. David was considered as the greatest warrior in Israel. Pero sabi niya, Lord, wala ko sa imong kaubot mo, even though I have these things, even though the greatest one even though I have those wealth that I have uh, accumulated from those other countries but Lord if I am not in the center of your will I am just nothing it connects to a certain person when Jesus said to a young man sabi ni Lord even though you have all the wealth of this world even though you accumulated great things in this world but if you lose your soul you are nothing yung ito sa ka young man tall dark handsome and rich sabi niya kay Lord rabai what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Nakita man ni Lord na pakayaman ng bata ito. Sabi ni Lord sa kanya, nasingan ako ni siya. Sabi ni Lord siya, Young man, go and sell your properties and then help the poor, help the ministry, then follow me. Nasyak ang bata ng lalaki. Lord, bata pa ko. Wartahan ko. Mayo kong kinabuhi. Ipamaligyan lang ako para ipangatan sa mga pobre. Uyuhi ang abaga niya. Atras yan. Atras. I cannot follow you, Lord. Wala siya kabalo that Jesus was offering him a greater riches, a greater life, a greater future. Sabi ni Lord sa kanya, Sige, kaon ka. Sige, kausak to. Pag-inom din ito. Tonight, I am going to take your life from you. Kinsa may mo at iman sa ibuha mga bahandi. Wala. Because life on this earth is uncertain. Wealth, riches, pleasures, worldly pleasures, fleshly pleasures, they are temporary. Malipay lang kakaroon. Pero dali lang mawala. Pero ang iplano ni Lord sa imuang kinabuhi, when you know His will, when you obey His word, I believe life, eternal life, nga yung iprepare sa tua, not just eternal life, but while we are living here on earth, we will experience heaven on earth. I mean, heaven on earth. So, walay mas labi pang maayos sa tuang kinabuhi, mao gayon ang pagtuman sa pulong sa kinabuhi palakpakan si Lord. Hallelujah. That's why David, sabi niya kanina, sa, sa, sa Psalm 24 verse 4, Lord, show me your way. Lord, teach me your path. The number three, results of blessings at the book. By obedience, we bear good fruit. By obeying the word of God, we can bear good fruit. What does it mean? Ibig sabihin, meron palang mga fruit na hindi good. Of course, meron to. I remember, we we had a, a big tree of mango dili sa may gate pa nila. So, many of you knows that. Pero katumbago pala ng kabot, muna huwag niya nakita. Pero natanom na mo to sa una, siguro, it's almost 20 years now. Kapag hapit na ba yung tika tuwing, 15 to 20 years, natanom to ng mga ato. Nagdako siya, nagdako. Pwede ko nakuwas kahoy. O 
niya, nilampas na siya sa kuryente, nitaas pa yung pag-ayong. Mag-aano na kamutal sa iyang dahon yun. But the problem is, walay, walay bunga. Ay namunga siya, pero dili makahinog. Tapos, naay daot sa sulod, unya mahulog. Dili pa sa kahinog, mahulog na siya, ay naay daot. Sa may problem, maginig. Unya, ingon sila nga, Pastor, tigbasi ang tigbas tigbasi ay ang punuan ano tigbasan man ikaw ba ni tigbasun di ba kakamahadlo mamungan na lang ka ahat ano din na siya ay tigbas po o ay wa mang gihapon na munga na ulo mang gihapon nagsagbot-sagbot lang ang makatab ang, ang, ang makabilipit lang ganang medyo malanduan ka pero dili man siya what profitable dili man siya makaginan siya so niabot ang panahon kay mag sabay mo magritan ni mo ang kahoy niya nakadikit ang sanga sa kuryente makurintihan ka so pwede pa ni Morpus na sa tao ay we decided to cut it down at hindi naman maayo ay ang buhay niya now the Bible says when we obey the word of God we will bear good fruit a life that is obedient to God will always bear good fruit Jesus that time he was so hungry and he was looking looking to, for a fruit Nakita niya ang kahoy sa fig tree. Wala akong kita ka ng fig tree ganyan personal. Pero nakita na ako sa sa, sa study na ako. Uh, Tawag na fig tree. F-I-G. Higera. Nag, uh, usually nag-hatag yun sa bunga. Sa yahang season. Kanya, season to siya sa fig, sa fig tree. Bunga. Nakita sa ginong Yesus. Gutom kayo siya. Huwag yun siya nakita ka bunga. Pero siya siguro gisapot. Siya nga, Sugod ka ron. Ikaw nga kahoy ka di nakamamunga. Wala. Maabot po din ang panahon din nung no? sa puto ng ginuos itong kinabuhi kung di namamunga. When we always listen to the Word of God and never apply this in our lives, pwede din sa puto ng ginuo. Ikaw ha, kapila na kasultii, kapila na, ka, kapila na kagiwarningan, kapila na kasultian, gibadlong, gahit niya po kagulo, di yung kagap mo to, oh, sige, sugod ka ron, dawatan niya ako ang punishment para ni mo. It can happen. Although God is love, God is so gracious, pero the, the Spirit of the Lord will not strive forever for men. Now, Jesus showed it in the fig tree. He was looking for a certain fruit. Pero what sila kita, he said, beginning today, you will never fruit, you, you will never bear fruit anymore. Pagkahapon ato, ingon itong isa kanisipo niya, Lord, nakaduwag man siya, Lord, katubang imong giingnan ni mga kahoy nga di na mamunga. Lord, milaya lagi, nalaya lagi siya, nagsugod lagi kamatay. It was a judgment day for that tree. Hindi rin na makumpiyansa. Sa mingon tanga, Lord, gumabitaw ka, Lord. Lord, grasya bitaw ka. Lord, mas kinakasala ko. O, kira po. Pangayawan lang ako pasay lo. Tutal, karong Domingo, Domingo bitaw. Musimbal ako sa imo. O niya, mga ipasay lo. Fights na. Sana, gino, igadwaan yung mga gino. No. Dapat, Kung pa lang nakadugta sa pulong sa Ginoo, atong tumanon ang pulong sa Dios. Unya ang hinungdan ana pagutuman ta ang may tabo sa imuha, mamunga ka og daghan. Kinsa gusto mo nga? Amen. Mamunga ka disciples. You can complete your 12. You can complete your 144. Mamunga ka og maayong binuhatan. Ang ang bunga nga maayong binuhatan. I mean, ang bunga dili pwede siya na artificial. Dili maayo sa sakristuhan, ni kabot simbahan, magkita dito sa iyahang panagway ang pagkamapapsan. Pero ni ay, fruit ta sa na ito, ikabit lang, pagkabot sa balay, tanggalon eh. sa pagka maupabsanon pero pagabot sa balay tanggalon why tanggalay di na tinood bunga iskam na nga bunga di legit amen pero ang tinood na bunga kana nagsunod sa pulong sa ginoo pag tinood na nga bunga ang ginoo malipay sa imo amen ina imo katapad nimo namunga gid ka I'll talk more on this about fruit. Number four, results of obeying God's word. By obedience, we find power to continue 
obedience. The moment you obey the word of God, may bonus pag na siya. Tagahan ka gahom sa ginoo, niya makapadayon ka sa pag-obey sa iyaha. Consistency. Pero ang tao nga dili mo obey kay Lord, walay bonus. Di yun sa kaupi mo, stop yun. But, when we obey God, we will find the power for a continued obedience. The initial decision you make today to obey God, to commit yourself to God, and to surrender yourself to Him, it will give you a new power to overcome sin. You will have the power to say no to sin. Because you made a commitment today, I will obey God. I say no to the world, but say yes to God. And because of that, bibigyan ka pa ni Lord ng bonus, and that bonus will give you power to say no to the incoming sin. Grabe lang po ka, bro. Parang kinalimutan mo na yung pinagsamahan natin. We are friends before. Sila, respeto lang. Hindi, magiging siya pinakay. Christian, magiging siya. Giyabo siyang ulo ang tuba. Bahal daw to. Pag giyabo siyang ulo niya, siyempre, giyabo siyang baba. Ganyan. Nami mang Japon. <laughs> Nami mang Japan. Pero yung sila, no, no to temptation. Bro, thank you. The Lord bless you. Sa kada ato, wa nagyod siya, gitagaan, gitintal siya mamarkada. Because he overcame it. Maugya po sa tuwang kinabuhi. Dapat, kung musunod na kay Lord, atong musay nota sa mga temptation, and then, the Lord will give us power more and more to say no to those temptation nga mabusto ang kinabuhi. Now, we need to obey God. We should not be slaves to sin. But, we are to control ourselves. Dili ko matuho. When you experience the life of being born again, dili ni mo makontrol. You can control because the power of the Holy Spirit is in us. Therefore, When we present ourselves to God, we present ourselves to God to obey Him, I believe He gives us a new power over sin and a power to continue to obey Him. Okay? Power to overcome sin and power to continue obeying God. In fact, there is a, a, a verse 8 that tells us that by our obedience, We have made ourselves a slave of righteousness. Kung musunod niya ito sa ginoom, ang atong kaugalingon, atong gihimo nga ulipon sa pagkamatarong. Wala mo kong ulipon? Hindi mo na ang ulipon. May mong mingin mas sa ginoom. Buha ka na siya. Ako mahinig ay kung magtanong ng ating medieval movie. Panahon sa ina-slave ang mga tao. Pansin ako ba? Kuya, wala rin slave sa isulti sa imuhang amo, yung kayo mahimo, mas ipag di gusto ni mo, buhato niya, mas ipag kuha, kuha sa sundang, kuha ang kanyang liog, di yung kakamalipat kay slave man ka. Kung nahimo kang slave, what you, ang imong kinabuhi is nothing. Nothing ang imong kinabuhi pag slave ka. Now, na mga tao nga slave sa la. Kung sa'yo gusto sa la, oh, buhata na, huwag mahimo. May gusto siya nga si, ambak, may mga sala sa'yo mo, sige, take that. Well, may mga slave sa sala. Instead of being a slave to sin, when we obey God, we become slave to righteousness. And when the Word of God says, do it, you do that. And when the Word of God, jam it, you can jam it. When the Word of God says, do it, makaya ni mo na siya because of the power that God has given to you and that power is because of your obedience ina mo katapat mo sunod yun ka sa ginoo. Yes. Amen. 
Now, it is, it is our new heavenly desire. Once you must know that he has given up. Number five, I'll make it faster. Still have two. By obedience, our prayers will be answered. I want you to recite this read. Ready? Go. By obedience, our prayers will be answered. Hallelujah. Kung musunod ta sa ginoo, kailang atong ipangandis na kasing-kasing, kailang atong giampo, solve na na siya. Makuha na to ang atong ipangampo sa ginoo. One of the things that will happen when we obey God is that our prayers will be heard and answered. Dili lang maminawon sa Gino kung dili to bago yung ginaita niya. Because wala may nakamabang. Wala may naka, nakablock sa atong dalan. Ang problema ka rin, even how you shout, God, listen to me. God, answer my prayers. Kung wala yung obedience, dili lang makadungan yung sa ko. Ha? Tagay ko ni Lord. Dili maka, dili kaabot sa Gino ang imang mapag-ampo. Because kay wa may obedience. What a marvelous thing! Kung kita mutuman sa ginoo, it's just like the, our prayers, no? Once mo obey ta sa word of God, ang atong prayers nila today, nakasakay sa itong obedience. Pag nakasakay sa itong pagka-obedience, pas-pas kayo na sa day mo abot sa trono sa langit. Pero pag walay obedience sa ginasakyan, mura na sa ulod magkamang, dili ka abot sa langit. Try obeying the word of God, and it will reach the throne of God so quick, and you will be amazed that the Lord will answer your prayers. The Bible says in John chapter 15, verse 16, "Sabi ni Lord dito, if you abide in me, whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name, He may give to you." sa may imong gipangayo. Are you asking God for certain thing? You, you are asking God for this specific thing. And sabi ni Lord, I'll give it to you. Just obey my word. Sigurado, maabot yun na sa nalunggan sa gino. O niya mayingon siya sa imuha. Ans a prayer granted. Answer is being heard. And you shall may give to you seems to be an extension sa ginawag na kung ako ganina that your fruit will remain if the word of God if we abide in the Lord and His word abide in us and, your, and, and, and the word of God will remain in your heart that also your fruit will remain and then I will give God can do everything except to lie in His promise. So, sabi pa uh, sa Osaka Bible scholar, ingon niya, I choose you in order to be your fruit. The Lord choose you to become a blessed one, not for your own satisfaction, not for your own glory, but my will for you is to bear you more fruit so that others will be blessed also. Others will be benefited tungod sa pagpanalangin na ko sa imo. Are you asking God something? The Lord will say, obey my word. Lord will provide everything you need. Obedience and prayer goes together. When you pray and then disobey, nothing happens. When you pray and make, make a commitment, Lord, I will do this. I will follow you. I will serve you. I will remain humble. I won't change. I will serve you with all of my Isaac, 
Abraham said nothing, said nothing. Abraham uh, did not hesitate to give his son Isaac. Idala niya sa bukid, ina niya ang anak niya, nakbanta. Asa man dati? Tatag bukid. What will, what will we do there? We will make an offering to God. Ah, okay, okay. Then. And as, he, as they walk along, padulong sa bukid, Isaac noticed something. Sabi niya, Dad, I don't see a lamb. Sabi mo kanina, we will offer something to God. Pero wala natin na lang. Wala. Sabi ni Abraham. At the back of his mind, ikaw to kung i-offer na ako na. Pero yung si Abraham, the Lord will provide. Sa kanila sa bukit, iukasan si Sakrits, gigapos. We never also read in the Bible that Isaac nagpalak. Ayaw dan, ayaw. Anak ko ni mo. Dati na patsimang ko ni mo. Anak ko, remember anak ko ni mo. Isaac did not say that. But si Abraham continued. Gigapos siya. Higda sa kapo sa altar. And he took his dagger. glorified in the Son. 1 John chapter 15, verse 7 to 8, Jesus said, If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. If you begin to bear fruits, patawag na kang disciples. Jesus tells us na kung kita musunod if we abide in Him which include our obedience to God we will receive answers to our prayers in verse 8 Jesus said by this my Father is glorified the word this means that when you abide and obey and when your prayers are answered maglorify ang ginoon when I saw, when I see every one of you, yung mahimok mong panalanginan sa ginoo, why lain malipay ang Diyos amahan? When I, when I see one day, more of you magiging multi-millionaires, many of you mahimok ang adunahan, why lain malipay kung tili ang Diyos amahan? Tungkol kay gusto niya, niya matag-usakan na ito, mahimok abundansya, malipayon yung mga lagad sa ginoo. Only then, we need to establish first our strong commitment of obeying the Word of God. Kung di ni ta mo obey kay Word, pag ato commitment kay Lord, di ni pang strong, again, magkabot sa lagong panalagin, dali na magbunto. Ay, yung commitment. So when you pray, Lord, pour out your blessing upon my life, pero ang ibuhang sutlanan, Medyo silofane lang. Ang imong sudan lang, sako lang. Kung pour out, hindi ko na basta-basta nga pulong na. Mas mayo siguro, kung di ka prepared, Lord, matama lang. Iyong pali Solomon, Lord, ayaw taong ko papubriya, kaya ba si mahawat ko? Ayaw po ko pala tuwa pag ayaw, Lord, kaya ba si Unyay, baka limot ko? Mauna yung prayer nga matama lang. Pero kamo nag-ampo nga, Lord, pour out your many blessings. 
Hey, hey, hey. Dapat imong ligonon ang imong commitment kay Lord. And that commitment of obeying God's word in your life, dapat may stable na siya. Because when the Lord begins to pour out His blessings, kanunay kami ngon, I will give God the glory and honor. Daghan ang malipay sa imuha, labaw na ang gido malipay. So karang adlawa, how many of you would say, Lord, pour out your blessing in my life? Kung may lagi ningon amen, adlaw ta? We need, we need it. Lord, pour out your blessings so I can also give it to others. So I can also be a blessing to many people. So that, Lord, your gospel will be preached all over the world. It's been my desire to spread out the word of God worldwide. Kisa gusto mo ba sa kwa matukaw ka ng Afrika? Gusto mo mo ba? I will wait for all of you to become rich para sa iyo lang ang pagpanit o tikit sa aeroplano. Amen? Kisa gusto mo ba to? Say amen! Manglupad ta sa laing nasod para iba isangyaw ang pulong sa Gino. Maunay ka ubutun sa Gino. Dilita pada tuon sa Gino para ikaw lang mo asinso. Kaya kung ikaw lang mo asinso, ang uban maglaway ni mo, ang Gino po dili malipay. Amen? So kinahanglan nga ato ang spread out ang pulong sa Gino that God loves us all and He wants every one of us to become great because it's His promise that my plan for you is not to harm you, but my plan is to give you a good future, to give you a, a, a prosperous life because God loves us so much. Kinsay gusto ko nalangin at sa ginoon sa ginoon.